France said on Saturday it supports efforts to overturn Niger's military coup. This followed a meeting in Paris between France's Foreign Minister Catherine Colonna and Niger's Prime Minister Ohumadou Mohamedou, who also visited with supporters outside the Niger embassy. It's a disaster and it's really very painful for the population, he said, adding, We strongly condemn this coup d'etat which calls democracy into question and which seems to shorten the term of office of a democratically elected president, to whom the people of Niger, by a large majority, entrusted a five-year mandate. We therefore demand that President Mohamed Bazoum be restored to his seat and complete his term in office. Friday, defense chiefs from West Africa's regional bloc said they had drawn up a plan for military action if the coup leaders do not reinstate the president by Sunday. That raised the specter of further conflict in a region that is already battling a deadly Islamist insurgency. One neighboring country that won't participate in a potential battle is Chad. The defense minister said Saturday, We will never intervene with our military. We encourage dialogue. We want stability to come back to Niger. In Niger's capital city, residents remained defiant Saturday. This man told Reuters, As Nigerians, we said to ourselves that if the military decided to intervene in this situation, we would be with them all the same, and we're determined to go wherever they want, and we're not even in favor of negotiations. The 59-year-old coup leader, General Abdurrahman Tiani, who received some of his military training in France, said the junta will not back down. 